Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. So, y'all ready for some more excavator building? Because I sure am. Yep, nothing to it but to just finish getting all the resources. So, just remind me once more what we need for this. I think it's going to be 22 scaffolding in total, along with all the engineering blocks. Just start building it all. So... That's going to be one red, nine light, five heavy. You know what? We have it over in the box. Except for the heavy, I think. We might as well take those heavy engineering blocks out. So, we're just going to need five of these. Nine of these. One of these. And we're also going to need, like, I think it was 16 of those. 15 of those. Yep, and let's get our good old-fashioned shulker box out. Just start piling things up. Oh, right! Between episodes. As you might see, I restocked a little bit of my uh, kind of normal stuff in here. Chests and hoppers and all that stuff. I also, between episodes, I went ahead and I tore up all the pipes on this old logistics line and moved them under the base. So we have this entire area open for business right now. We'll be able to just make split-offs, bring it up above the base once more. And we'll have all that space open for construction. Yep, I realized I was being a dumb. And that I was just passing up free real estate. So, gonna need a total of 22 of those, I do believe. Also looks like we're out of steel in the old, uh, in the old box, but, uh, we're not out of steel in general. We have all the steel we need. Yep. Even not a terribly fast automation. Once you get it rolling, it's just there in the background and suddenly you have a supply. Oh, right. It was in here. So, not a huge deal either way. There we go. And that should be all the scaffolding we need for this project. Or at least this phase of today's project, because yeah, we have a couple of excavators to build. So, and that should be everything, except for the radiator blocks. Right, 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 right. Radiator blocks, three of those. That's going to need some iron, some steel, some copper. And we're out of iron too. Might as well grab a few stacks of that. Just keep a few stacks of all the types of metal in our little intermediary chest there. Restock it as needed. There we go. And finally, we're going to need a ton of fluid pipes. Which we may have to stock up even more of. So there's no reason that we can't just grab some sheet metal out of the sheet metal machine. And just get that stock. All right. Up it all goes. And then we can make radiator block. Ah, it was just... No, it's iron and steel. I just have steel in here. 
Okay, there we go. And yes, take out the a little bit of the horrible excess of side goods we now have. There we go. And with that, we should have everything we need in terms of the base of the excavator. Yep. Now we just need nine steel blocks for the excavator buckets. Which, thankfully, we should have already prepared for us. Just right on over here at the old steel machine. Yep, there it goes. It is nice finally being to the point that things are all nice and automated, you know? And this particular beauty of a beast will be going right on over at the old redstone site. Yep, we already have an excavator here. Or we either, we already have a crusher here. But now we need to get it properly supplied. So, I see no reason not to build this kind of out on this overhang area. Where it used to be. I think that's where the, where the excavator used to be, in fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Let us just take everything out. And the scaff. So, let's see here. One away from the edge. And we need to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go like one more further in this direction. Yep. There we go. So let's just... Right here, start... No, it needs to be a little bit farther than that. It needs to be a little bit farther than that. Like right here. That should... Do as a decent place for the edge of the machine. Yeah, okay. So then we need this. Ah, right, and we need the radiator blocks. So then it's like this, this, this. We need to move this. And then, yeah, this, this. There and there. Okay, that's the base footprint of the machine. Now just build her up. Just like a so. Alrighty then. This is going fantastically, I do believe. And then... Heavy over here. Light over there. The last three lights over there. And just the rest of this layer is sheet metal, I believe. No, I'm wrong about that. Like that, and then these two are the radiators. Cool, 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 cool. And that should construct. It do. But let's not leave it constructed just yet, because now we need to build the bucket. So that'll just be bloke of steel right there. And you probably get the pattern for how these things are built by now, if you've been watching along. 
Yeah, the excavator bucket is simple enough that I can build it from memory. Mostly. Mostly. I have been known to occasionally derp and fail. Oof, lag is real today. Yeah, I can see that this is a trench where the excavator bucket was previously. I've just kind of accidentally offset it by a few spaces somewhere. Alright, so then... Right there. Did I not bring enough... Uh, did I not bring enough stuff with me? Perhaps. Perhaps indeed I did not. Either that or I'm building this thing wrong. But I don't think I am. So it must be my memory of it being 22 scaffolding blocks that's off. It's 25. Well, that's a real easy fix. <sighs> I'm not streaming at a terribly unusual hour. I don't know why no one's shown up yet, but... Eh, it's just one of those nights, I suppose. That's fine. I can have my own fun. Unless maybe I posted the wrong stream link. Hold on a sec. Now I'm paranoid. Nope. Nope. I posted the right one. Well, we'll just keep on keeping on. So it goes. Alright, get under here. Get the last of this thing out of the way. And that should create the excavator bucket for us. A boop, indeed. And that should finish the excavator. In toto. All right. So now all we need to do is throw together a little bit of simple automation for this, the beastie. Just get a chest on, not there, there. Make sure this thing is entirely lit. And yeah, it's not the most optimal place for minimizing transport times, but eh, it's fine. So, you know what? I don't think I even really need a chest there, do I? If I just... Can I just export this thing straight into an item duct? Transport whatever? That looks like a no. Never mind. It probably would go right onto a conveyor. But meh, that would mean using conveyors. Who uses conveyors in this day and age? Am I right? God. This is the age of big, janky pipes. Anyone using conveyors has got to get with the program. Okay, so up there, please. Up there, please. Thank you. And yes, we can just kind of 
jank this up and over onto here. Cool. So this is, of course, going to have just an always-on tool server right there. But the excavator itself will not be always on. We're just going to, I think I'm just going to jank a little bit of a structural pipe right off of this chest here. And onto our pipe. And then a little bit more structural pipe up and over onto there. That should allow us to run an entire connection. That does mean I think I'm going to need to move this pulser. Which is not a huge deal. So, gate. Any old gate. On thar. Pipe wire. You say on 75% full or less than 75% full, emit blue. Run signal up, run signal over, run signal down. Oops. And over we go. One more crossover. And down it go. And from there, we can just put a gate on here. And you are going to say on blue signal off, transmit redstone to control the excavator. And now literally all we need to do is run power over. So you know what I'm gonna do for that? I'm gonna be a little bit lazy here. I'm gonna take this power connection. Do I have wire cutters? I probably don't. It's fine. We'll do the old fashioned type of wire cutters. Okay, so then we'll put a relay right here. And that should be able to see all the places that the connector was before. If I just uh, take my wires. So, you into relay, you into thar, and you into thar. And it'll probably pick up a couple scoops of dirt, stone and the like. So it goes. Yep, it'll just spit those out of the crusher. And it'll be fine, because these two outputs down here are in fact already pre-filtered, so... Yep, there's the cinnabar coming in. Alrighty then, and there is Crusher. And there is redstone and glowstone coming in once more. Huzzah! Well, if only all projects could be as easy as this one, huh? Fast and easy. Alrighty then, so... Now let's just kind of put everything away. I put... No, that would be ridiculous. It's already ridiculous that I can put shulker boxes into here. Full ones, I mean. Alrighty then. So, that is our redstone mining restored. Now, it is time to get a new resource. Yes, I think I'll do... Kimberlite next? Kimberlite or tin? Hmm. Kimberlite or tin? Which to bin? Ah, uh, yes, I'm probably also going to need Galena before, before I move on, too, because I need Electrum automated for the, uh, 
for the mechanical artisan to get that complete. Speaking of, just as an intermission, I suppose, it is about time that I actually get steel inserted into there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of having to run it over my hand, we might as well get a transport line onto here. Let's see here. How you doing? Yeah, it has steel in there, but still. Yeah, da, 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 da. So, where's a nice free spot for it? I mean, I think that... Let's see, that one... Yeah, this one and this one, these are just buffer chests. These are both empty, so these could both be candidates for steel. I think that I'd like to use these for bronze, though, eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when I... I'll probably make, like, a, a an auto smelter for bronze somewhere under the base. And I can just pipe up liquid bronze here. And I could have, instead of chests, these could be casting tables. Going to, like, ingots and gears. And that'll be how I handle the bronze automation. So, not those, then. Not those. Uh, looks like I need to start a new transport layer under here. In that case. So, 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 so. Let's go with the most difficult one, because this is a really simple project. It's not going to need any further refinement. It's not going to need any further doing. On the other hand, I'd like everything on this side kind of free up for the uh, for the steel mechanical parts assembly. Yeah. So maybe maybe here. Sure. So let's just uh, get that going under there. Then gonna need blue wire. Gonna need gate. Not there. That is the single spot that it couldn't go. And you are going to say when less than 50% uh, emit blue signal. Cool. This gives us a chance to go and look at our wonderful new janky land under here. Yep. It's not too bad, other than having to pass through under other wires at some points. Some of them intensively so. Yeah, it's not too, too bad. Well. It's just delicious pasta. Delicious, delicious pasta. To not appreciate this would be racist against Italians, I'm sure. All right, so. Hmm. Yeah, I think I can just uh, run this part of the steel line off of this and we'll just have to give it a plug. And that should be fine. Simply because of how the clay pipe that's already up there works. Where is it? I should be able to identify it by just being janky pipe up there now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, looks like we do have a minor problem, but that's fine. Uh, am I at a pipe plug? Looks like I am. Oh boy. Well, let's just use a let's just use a gate to snag that problem. But yes, I do need to go and make some more pipe plug. It looks like because. That is a tool we'd need in our arsenal for this particular project. So just take however many it'll give us out of this. Cool. All right, and we also kind of want to line up with our new transport line. Like, kinda over here. I don't think I'll make the chest up on the surface. I'll make it under the base. This is just kind of my way of marking exactly where I need to go. 
Get our chest out. Yeah, let's see here. If I then jag this way, we should eventually see. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Cool. There's a hole in the ceiling. Hello, Fox. Lovely to see you here. I am just playing with the spaghetti a little bit right now. Losing track of where the heck the resource line I'm laying out is. Yes, as you can see, it has gotten yet more Italian in here. Isn't this wonderful? Isn't this beautiful? Ah, here it is. Here it is. So, make a chest there. And then I need to navigate all the way down to the steel silo. Hmm. This is going to be the most difficult part, I think. <laughs> yes, and this is why I had to go and pick up more pipe plugs. There they are. Because we're going to need at least one over here. Yes. And uh, uh, congratulations to you for a very nice first trip into the abyss on your series. It was a, uh, it was a brief one, but it was expertly handled. Yeah, I think there's no choice but to kind of jank. Nah, I'd really like if possible, but no, it's not possible. So I'm gonna need to lose this kind of walkway over here. I think. Yeah, looking like it. Yeah, this is going to be a ton of pipe plugs, unfortunately. Oof. I'm out of the cold and everything, and still I'm frostbitten. Out of the rain, I should say. Oh boy, already, huh? Well, I mean... <sighs> technically, there's nothing stopping you from doing the millionaire cheese progress-wise. You just need to, you know, develop your city a little bit more. Develop your Normans. Yes, I know. You, you've seen now, you've played enough that you know how frequent of a guest the temperature management is. And how unwanted of a guest it is. Leave me alone, thermoregulation. I know that you're a basic need and all, but seriously. Cut it out. But yeah, I mean, um... There's nothing stopping you from doing the exact same millionaire cheese I've done. Yes, I know, I know. That is that is never fun. That is never, never, ever fun. Well, ju just think of it as Kegel exercise for your health. But yes, I, I very much sympathize. I was on two lives for several episodes. Yes, well, a gold block is not terribly... I don't think you need a chisel. You might need to chisel it into vanilla style, but no, there's, there's several vanilla gold blocks available in the ships. Ah, good. Wise. I've been negligent in making sufficient backups. I have a, maybe one backup every, like, 20 episodes or so. There we go. Up and over and through. Caress the spaghetti. Enhance the spaghetti. Do the iron. What's problematic about the iron? Oh, you mean the, the quest for the iron? 
Yeah. And by the looks of things, you've been doing it the really old-fashioned way. Like, you, you did the full bloomery quest and everything, didn't you? Oh, boy. Like, instead of only going for a single nugget when and having ingots for the rest of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing it. I imagine that you're doing it all the way. Like, you're taking the iron shards to make your first ingot, ain't you? Because that's kind of how you've been playing. Oof, yeah, I know. I, I, I can understand that. Hmm... All right. Ah, it looked like it was time to throw some of these in to be made into more gates. But yeah, I mean, if, if you're doing more than just uh, if you're doing more than just getting a single nugget out of the bloomery for the quest completion, then yeah, making iron nuggets the bloomery way sucks. <laughs> it was perhaps a little overconfident. But it can it can be nice to be a little bit overconfident. A little bit of an ego is is attractive. Alright. And now all I need up here is and pulsar. And the logic of on blue pulse pipe. And that should run all the way down here. And start building up in there. Cool. Now I need to run it through this mess of spaghetti. Over into where should be somewhere around here. There, that is where I decided on my destination for just the steel ingots. But I think that actually, I kind of like a chest for buffer on here just to split off again because I'm also going to be making the assembly machine. Ah, well. I can tell you that's really easy with with a shotcut. I don't know about Blender. I have never used... Well, I, I've never used Blender in general, but I've never used Blender's video editor. Yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. Honestly, it looks like these are already connected up to different areas. Oh, no, wait. That's just... That's just down there. Okay, cool. So, is there any different... Is there any different one that we can connect this to? Could I connect it over, like, here? Cool. Alright, that should be power restored. And then... I think I'm just gonna have to... Run it through the spaghetti. Here, 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 here. Yep, that's just where it's going to have to be. So then, gate and wire. Let's just run it from the top here. Ooh, the storm is getting lovely and loud. I love a good storm. Yup. Well, that is why I invest so heavily in automation and why I test each individual piece as it's built so that I don't need to understand the whole. So that all I need to understand is one piece at a time while I'm building it. And 
unfortunately, it's looking like this is going to be a ton of pipe plug over here. That's fine. Pipe plug is cheap. Mmm. Yeah, maybe maybe Factorio Space Exploration will be my next playthrough after JBTA. Because I haven't played Factorio in a while, so doing the big, long, stupid quest pack in Factorio, or, or version of Factorio, that would be the way to go, right? That would get you back into it for sure. Starting out small and slow, that's for nerds. And now that I shouldn't even say things like that because I'm going to be on JBTA for a while. Okay, Power Pulsar. JBTA will be my main bay for a good long time to come. Alright, and looks like I'm accidentally switching sides of the pipe here, but that's no big deal. There we go. Now we got steel coming on even closer, but not quite all the way to the destination. Oh yeah. It's like so much is going on, you can't keep track of it all. I really admire... I, I admire all speedrunners, but Factorio speedruns especially are just impressive. Now, where was this particular one? It was right over here. Right. Okay, cool. And that is going to need a little bit of rejiggering, since I've made a buffer chest over here that wasn't originally planned for. But yes, I realize that eventually I'm going to... Maybe not eventually, maybe now. I'll go ahead and make that uh, steel machine parts assembler too. Yeah, I think that's literally just going to be an extraction pipe coming out. Cool. <sighs> yeah, let's see if I can... Uh, no, there's no way that I can... Well, maybe, maybe, if I... Ah, uh, no. I am not good enough at parkour to parkour my way up that. I'm sure that there's technically a way I could use wall jump to get up that tiny passageway, but I'm just... I'm just not quite... Not quite that sneaky. So, flip you around, please. Now you're gonna need... Pulsar, you're going to need gate. And you are going to say, when inventory on the top side contains less than 75%, pulse the pipe. Simple as that. Yeah, I don't have any ladders on me. Slight problem with that plan. So now we have steel being inserted into here automatically. Now... Eh, we'll call that, we'll call that for now. It's time to build another excavator for today's project. That was just me taking a little intermission because uh, the first thing I did before you showed up, Fox, was I built an excavator real quick back over on the, um, back over on the old redstone site. So we have redstone coming in again now. Yes, we're building up quite a lovely little nest egg of resources, I think. Mm-hmm. And keep in mind that this is just uh, also what's in the... There's also the output chest in front of it here, too, so... We have quite a lot of resources coming in. Might be time to turn iron off. Again. All right, all right. So let's get all our stuff put away and let's build another excavator. Mm. 
And the first step of building another excavator in this case will be building some more silos because now we're building one for a genuinely completely new resource. It is time for, let's see here. What do you think, Fox? Galena, Tin, or, uh, Galena, Tin, or Kimberlite? Oh, no problem. It's my pleasure, man. You know, Galena would be the hardest one. So let's do that. Yeah, so Galena is going to split up into lead and silver. And frankly, silver is the one we actually want, but uh, so it goes. So it goes. So we're going to need to make two more silos. Ah, well, looks like I've got the agreement of Fox implicitly on that one. Huzzah. Indeed. Indeed. So. 50 of that. Let's just keep that in the old bag. I should have more sheet metal stored somewhere. But I guess I don't. Uh, Kimberlite gives you Electrotine and Diamonds. And to be clear, I'm going to need all of these things eventually. I'm just deciding what I'm going to make first, you know? Okay, so that's two silos worth of those. Now, I'm going to need some more ash. I'm going to need some more ash pretty shortly. Possibly right now. Uh, well, nothing to it but to make some more. So for that, I'm going to need a stack of glue. Yep. I'm just reminding myself at this point that every one of these resources I check off, it's counting down to making actual quest progress at this point, you know? Hmm. Okay, so we're going to need... A stack of slime, we're going to need four stacks of clay, plus a little bit extra for the table. Huh. This is building up, but I don't know if that's happening incidentally just from me walking down near the, uh, near the old redstone mining site. Like, if that was enough to chunk load the entire pipe or something. Yeah, I think between episodes I'm going to have to... Experiment with that red line and get it uh, get it working properly. Probably gonna have to replace the whole thing with build craft pipe, I imagine, which is a really easy project now. I mean, essentially, the pipe is gonna be building itself because. Blood is essentially what you turn, what you use to seal up a transport pipe in this pack. At least in my case. I tell you, man, that blood bank is a wonderful invention of mine, if I may brag about myself for a moment. Because, uh, as far as I can tell, no one else had that idea in JBTA yet. Yeah, we might as well throw another stack of clay into the smasher. I don't think I need to. But yeah, as far as I can tell, no one realized just how powerful having infinite blood is in this pack. It's Wonderbar. Okay, and I'm going to need 12 of these. Alrighty then, so... 
like that, like that, and like that. And then we just squeeze this into liquid. And that's our glue. And while that's cooking, let's go fetch the wood to make the wood piles. Just chunk as much of it as we can into here. Let that finish a cooking. It's getting there. And I should have some wood pile already. Yeah, cool. All right. And now from here, clear the recipe. And then it's just glue and then dupe, 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 dupe. And I think it should be 12 buckets of water to get an even ratio on this. Yeah, it's five per bucket. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. I should stop being lazy and just make a uh, a carpenter for every liquid already. That would make my life significantly better. But, meh. And now, we just need to go and burn this. Ah, yes, I should verify that the restored redstone excavator is uh, operating correctly. Yep, it's shut off just like I would hope it would be at most times. And then it looks like when that crusher, which is stutter stepping for whatever reason, but when that clears enough space in the chest for the crusher to run again. I mean, yeah, mostly. It's, uh, it's the bronze that's not automated, really. I could build the rest of the, uh, the rest of the automation for all the machine parts except for the bronze right now. Because I still need to create automated tin. And then I would need an auto smelter for, uh, for the bronze. Do you think that should be today's goal? Finish the complete automation of the, um, of the mechanical artisan? That would be an interesting goal, I suppose. All right. Well, regardless, now we're gonna have a little bit of a minute while that uh, while that's smelting for us to ponder what we're doing here. I suppose that, yeah, if I made this particular excavator on Cassiterite, which I should have around somewhere, Close by. Let's see, that's limonite. There's our cassiterite vein. Yeah, if I if I put this particular excavator on this chunk here, mind up cassiterite got it auto smelting. Then we would have all the material to finally finish automating the mechanical artisan completely. Hmm.
I think I have enough for two more burns in here. Neat. Okay, okay, that, that does sound like an interesting goal. Okay, sure. Why not? I need compressed sticks. Regardless, while that first set is burning, let us make us some, uh, let us make a smeltery. Yes. Get this burning too. Does that have fuel? Yeah, that has fuel. All right, so, 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 so. First of all, four pieces of tinder for the four furnaces. You've seen this path done a couple of times. I guess I should also start getting some more seared brick pouring. Yeah, that's probably not enough. So let us get some more brick uh, melting. Yeah, the big pile of wood chips because I'm kind of past the point of needing wood chips now that I've built a paste machine, or a pulp machine. So I don't have a whole lot of uses for wood chips all that often. So it gets boring just, just um, constantly digging them up and finding a way to delete them eventually. So I just let them delete themselves because they can't pile up any further, you know? Okay, is my pulsar off? Yeah, it is. And I have sufficient brick in here that I probably don't need to worry about that. All right, let's get going on building these smelter controllers. So how am I doing on masonry brick? Yeah, that's not really enough. So let's just make a couple. You know, let's make us a stack of masonry bricks just so that this is mostly resolved for the future. I should probably put one more stack in there just for uh, just for accommodating the failures. There we go. And to make that stack of masonry bricks, we're going to need four stacks of pulp. Yes, the, the majesty of the wood chip pile. It makes you wonder where the additional wood chips off of the sawmill are going. Just blasting off into the ether, I guess. They're, they're becoming one with the pile, compacting into it. Nothing is lost. It's simply not gained. It's very zen. But yes, Fox, for uh, for farming lives, um, I'd recommend that you start kissing the villagers' butts and try and get them to build you a um, to get to build a glass uh, a glass blower's place, a glass place to do the window flipping, and uh, yeah, get yourself a chisel. You shouldn't be too far off getting yourself a chisel. I don't think. If you're a couple episodes ahead of what you've released so far, then you should be close to the point of uh, having Tinker's Tables, right? Yeah. So, you are close to being able to perform the cheese. Um, don't even... Uh, yeah. Hmm. 
and uh, probably don't even worry about uh, doing it in another village. Just cheese your own village right now. Because you don't use the power of capitalism as much as I do. And so long as you only cheese it lightly, you shouldn't break the village completely anyway. All right. Stack of masonry bricks because I got tired of just making these things every so often. Let's make enough to last us for a little while. So I think for this, I'm going to need 28 to make four furnaces. Along with four of these. And there. And then... Let's see here. I probably don't have enough refractory brick. Also need more pulp. <laughs> no, this is just... Um, I, I, I'm kind of in the point of the game where I build heavy industry... This is the point where it's necessary to have this level of supply, you know? I mean, it is very convenient having the pulp machine and all that stuff. Yes. Alright. Make some more slate lime. Just like so. But yeah, I mean, before the before I had the pulp machine, I was using my piles of wood chips for that. But uh, at this point, I don't really have a lot of use for a pile of wood chips anymore, you know? So we let the pile of wood chips just exist over there as a as a performance art piece, essentially. Get some more liquid clay burning. And there. Bunch of refractory clay. Let's just turn it all into brick. Get that all smelted. I mean... Yeah, and you're kind of not doing yourself any favors. Like, getting iron bars early allows you to make, like, you know, these iron hammers, which will help you out a whole lot. It means you don't need to craft quite so many hammers all the time. Very helpful. Having iron ingots for a lot of stuff is, is helpful. Unless you mean the iron, the iron ingot quest. Which is separate from just having iron ingots available as a construction uh, resource. Anyway. Anyway. Refractory bricks. Over here. Uh, where's all my pulp? And then... Good. Now I just need... To do that. And now to do that. And that's like 80% of the work of building a new smeltery done. So now I'm going to need a good stack of these. Possibly a little bit more than a stack. Run that back on down to the good old-fashioned messon. 
Ah, uh, good. I already have some brick in here. Also going to need a little bit of glass. Which I should be keeping some glass. I'm out of glass. Well, that's easy to resolve. At least it is these days. Hmm. Well, I hope that you realize that uh, you had iron available as a resource just to use. Ah, yes. So you're you're now going to be you're now going to be doing your own great enlightenment project like I did. Be smarter than me. Realize that it needs to go all the way out to 120 blocks. Cuz if an enderman spawns, period, it's trouble. All right. So from here, I can take these into these and right I need to make dirt need to make dirt bricks. So let's turn this off. And takes 12 dirts. Make sure that these are set to ingot. Cool. And once that all just gets all melty melty. I constantly forget that you need dirt bricks to make a smeltery. Now we should just be able to get four, eight, and twelve of them. Turn the pulser off. Oh well, a couple of bricks. Need to also get that nice and even there. Just so that we don't have spare change sitting in our block caster. And now we can finish off the controller. All right, so then I'm going to need two drains. Going to need a couple of casting tables, which I already have built somewhere. I mean, at your stage, even just the melter is useful. Go for it, man. There is no reason to hesitate on going straight for the melter, really. Okay, and now I can just chunk all of this in here. And let's... Oh, I have glass in here. Neat. Now let's keep this in here. Uh, no, it's something like... I think we have less than 10 smelteries. Uh, this is probably something like smeltery 5 or 6. But yes, unfortunately, that's kind of what building infrastructure looks like. Is we're making a whole lot of the same structure over and over again in different places doing different things. And that's why I'm somewhat excited for uh, the end of the infrastructure building era being in sight. We only have so many more resources to go before this is done. And unfortunately, this charcoal is still burning, so I don't have the ash ready yet. Well, let's let's gather up the resources for uh, for the rest of this particular project. I think. But yes, hello, Mr. Fancy Schmancy. Lovely to see you here. Always wonderful to have you on the stream. So, how much glue do I have? Not enough. Time to build more glue. Ah, well, you know what? We can just steal this. We only need a single stack. And I think that, yeah, it looks like the creosote um, is just about pressurized.
Well, I mean, I'm not sure if the, I'm not sure if a single arc furnace could keep up with the number of resources we have going, you know? It would definitely be a logistics problem, and we need lots of them. And I don't like the Arc Furnace's fact that um, you're eventually going to need to replace those graphite rods. And there's no real good way to automate it. I don't. I don't. I don't like you that. I very much like my machines to be. I build them and forget about them. I, I abandon them and never play, and never have to pay child support. You know. All right, so blood need blood. Yeah, a few hours in in a pack where I'm probably going to be another thousand at least. That's uh, not a terribly great deal, man. Alright. It is very nice having all the resources uh, starting to pile up and... I no longer have to go hunting for things, really. You know, Fox, the fact that you make, um, that you make actual MS Paint art for your thumbnails I think that puts you, you're, you're kind of, you're contesting Mr. Fancy Schmancy for the title of who's the Fancy Schmancy one. Ooh, your throne, your throne wobbles, Mr. Fancy Schmancy. Yeah. Smelters aren't terribly, aren't terribly troublesome to build. It's, it's fine. I think that they're really a similar level of challenge to build as just building a smeltery. And if it's a similar level of trouble to build, a similar level of... Uh, well, I mean, I guess that... Um, I don't know, I don't know. If I'm only using one arc furnace for it all... As versus a bunch of smelteries. I don't know. Ah. Well. Gimp art then. And uh, yeah. Having having it all set up, and you have, I imagine, a bunch of different, uh, a bunch of little different fox poses and stuff set up as well, so you can start rapidly producing these uh, these things like factory standard. Now you've completed your artistic infrastructure project. Okay, so how goes the old? charcoal burner do we have some more ash to play with yet that looks like looks like it might be the case all right so one set out one set in <laughs> 
that's always fun. I mean, the fact that I live stream everything except for some of the scut work I do between his episodes means I have an inherently built-in behind the scenes, I suppose, but... Uh, yeah, you aren't doing Dawson's Challenge, Fox. You could start skipping skipping time in your videos if you really wanted to. All right. And unfortunately, I think this charcoal is just going to have to be thrown out. I don't have really any use for it. It is literally just this ash that I want. Feels wasteful, but it kind of isn't because I have buckets of charcoal that I'm never going to use. Yeah, kinda, kinda. Well, if you are determined to show every last step along the way, every last second, then um, really all you need to do to be compliant with Dawson's Challenge is to do slash lives at the start of every episode, and he's he's pretty lenient about that anyway, so yeah, by all means, if you're interested in it, go ahead. Yeah, let's put that up here. And now, I'm probably gonna... Yeah, <laughs> once you get into the habit, it's kind of like uh, you find yourself narrating to yourself, don't you? And you start to realize, oh my god, I'm completely insane. Which, I mean, isn't really that big of a revelation, I suppose. At least not for me. Yeah, let's make us a stack of treated wood here. And I'm running a bit low on treated sticks, so let's just assemble some of those real quick. Let's see, that should be like... Does it like 20 at a time, right? Yeah, so let's just make 40 of them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let me tell you, I don't think I'd be able to back down from doing this live stream anymore. Having you all to talk with is a wonderful difference. Like, talking... Talking to yourself is one thing, and... Um, it, it, it definitely helps with the sanity. As well as just documenting it all. Oh. But having actual people to talk with while you're while you're doing it, it's it's wonderful. I really do appreciate y'all keeping me company through this journey. Beyond the abyss. Alright, well. I built two um two silos worth of sheet metal thinking that I was going to do Kimberlite next, but I think we're going to do Cassiterite, so. Well, if you got the bandwidth for it, by all means. I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely, um, be in the Greek choir for you. Throw in some peanuts from the old gallery. Presuming that I'm, you know, up and able to. Hmm. Less effective from my end with the stream lag and all. But I suppose that just increases the coincidentality of it all. All right, so that is silo laid out. And 
then we need to run a diamond pipe. And I might as well just pick up this remaining golden transport pipe as well. And let's see here. So Cassiterite, that turns into these tin clusters, which turns into molten tin, which turns into this style of tin ingot from Geolosis. So is that what I have in stock for filtration purposes? Uh, tin ingot, doesn't say what mod. Uh, recipe. It does look like it's the right type, though. Now, actually, I think that I could be processing my ores further, couldn't I? If I took these tin clusters and I put them into a crusher, yeah, I'll, I'll get two dust out of them. But I think that Sometimes the clusters will give you more than that. Like if I look at uh, lead cluster, then would that, uh... yeah, that would give me silver grit as an occasional byproduct. So I'm technically losing a bit of resources only having one crusher on each resource instead of two, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. <clears throat> Not at this point when I've already built so much infrastructure. I'm not going to go back and refactor the entire thing. It's going to be time to expand the under platform between episodes. Okay. And on white, send tin. All right, so just restock my bag as full as it can go. And then kind of put stuff away a little bit. And let's get back to building our infrastructure project. So let's put this away. Also put away this sheet metal. We'll just keep that as a nice stack of 50 for the next time I build a silo. I can throw this out probably. Uh, why do I have glue in my pocket? Because I was going to be making a crusher. I'm going to need some more redstone engineering blocks for that. Well, look at that. We just got them available. Isn't that a wonderful feeling? So that's our nine hoppers kind of laid out. And just a couple of stacks of iron. And I'm also going to need some chests, but I have some already ready. And then I should just be able to throw all that together into a bunch of hoppers. Huzzah! All right. And from there, to make the rest of the crucer for our next infrastructure, Sure. Then we're going to need eight steel fences, ten light, one red. So, ten light. Or one red, ten light. Eh. Next, the steel fences. There we go. And you know what? I'm just going to go and... Uh, I'm going to go and make myself some more steel rods. 
Wait a minute, did I already do that? I did. Well, just cycle the old process. Inevitably forget about the fact that we did this the next time and just uh, keep an extra stock of steel rods in here. That's a cycle I can get behind. Alright, steel fence in there. Now, how we doing? We just need 10 steel scaffolding. Well, that's real easy. Just like so. Then... Like so. We're also going to need like... 25 for the excavator, so we might as well make that now. So, like that. So that is crusher complete. Let's just chunk that all into the old box and start working on our excavator. So for a scavy boy, we're gonna need uh, 25 scaffolding in total counting the um, Counting this. Yeah. Or 26, actually. Yeah. 26 scaffolding. Remember that number from now on. 15 sheet metal, which might be problematic. I don't think I have any... Well, let's make us a stack of uh, iron sheets, then. That's a real easy solution. Just grab a stack of ingot. And then let's just do this on the melter faster. Faster than using the metal press. Faster and easier. Well, both ways are pretty darn easy. All right, and I'm going to need 16 of those, right? 15, but that's effectively 16 because it's made in batches of four. And that's just nice and easy. 16 sheet metal. And what's next? One redstone. One redstone, nine light, five heavy. Una redstone. Five light. Or no, nine a light. And five a heavy. And now all I need is the good old fashioned radiator blocks. So grab those, grab those, grab those, and grab from way downtown some of those. Ah, right, as well as those. Ah, it feels wonderful, the fact that we're throwing excavators together almost casually, doesn't it? That is what it feels like to finally start having your shit together. And it is a wonderful feeling. So that is Scabby Boy complete. Cool. Alright, now there's nothing to it but to go and do it. Get this thing assembled. You know, I'm just going to put these wood piles away for now. Not there. They were being stored here, I think. Cool. All right, Cassiterite. Let's 
gonna be another one kind of in this general area, it looks like. Yeah. This area is a little bit cramped, a little bit crowded. But, so it goes. You should not be growing here. All right, so let's move you up into this corner over here. Let's also get these trees out of the way. Maybe move all these down to where the old tree farm was more. Like down in this area. Because I do want some of these trees growing. Eh, yeah, I guess I can grow one right, right here. It'll spread, but oh well. Eh, I guess this is fine. Just needed to clear a little bit of space around this area. So this is the Cassie chunk. Now, how do I want to lay this out? I also want to get rid of this jungle wood. Not carry it around in my pocket. Also need to pick up the bricks. Forgot to pack the bricks. Alright, you just get in there. Refuel and go. Yeah, it looks like you ran out of fuel anyway. How you doing? You're doing pretty good. Bricks. Bricks, 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 bricks. Which is how we like to build things, excessively. Alright. On the old Cassie chunk. This time for sure. Alright, so let's start with the scabby. Just take all that out. Where they sticks. So, where to build this? Um, actually, I think that, yeah, I'm gonna want to build the crusher on, like, let's build this right to left because I'm gonna want the output close to that side because that's where the utilidor is. Well, it doesn't particularly matter. There's Utilidor crossing this both ways. Hmm. 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 Oh ho. I guess I can kind of just, uh... Let's see here. Yeah, we can run this, like... To... Try... Yeah, we'll have the excavator bucket, like, facing this way. And... So, it'll be outputting here. Then we'll have the crusher here. Then we'll build a smelter like right over here. Or we could, we could even build the cr the crusher like right here with the smelter, and then it'll be casting out like right here, because that'll get right into the utilidor. Cool. All right. So da 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 da. da. Rod stone. Heavy. And work our way around and down and all across. So that's there. Dip, 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 and dip. And then it's 
those three down there. And the heavy goes right there. And then like that. And like that, I think. That should do it. Yep. Okay, cool. Next. Ah, right, I forgot the nine blocks of steel. Not a huge deal. Because that is right here. Let's not fall into the smeltery. As fun as that would be. It's just not on the agenda. We just don't have the time for it today. You know, I'd love to, but we just, it's just not something we scheduled for. I should probably put a safety layer over this. Especially if there's leaves and stuff above it. Might be like dropping acorns and stuff in there. Hmm. Something to consider. Ah, shoot. Okay, so this can't be here. Never mind. Let's get this heavy steel block out of my pocket. So that I can actually move effectively. Yeah, now we're running into the problem of the Utilidor being too pervasive. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Okay, where to move this thing? Hmm. Because heaven knows we can't move the dang Utilidor. It has right of way. Uh, no, Grav. I'm and uh, I'm I'm not on a server. And welcome to the channel, by the way. I don't think I've seen you around before. But no, I'm I'm not on a server. This is this is single player. All right. So 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 so. How and where to run this? So... I might have to run this, like, down on the beach. Because that should be guaranteed there's no Utilidor around there, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's where we're going to do this, then. Beach episode, unofficially. Oops. Well, if you've not been if you've not been checking out the channel, then um, be sure to check out Let's Read Dwarf Fortress. That is that is my uh, point of pride for the channel. That is my uh, that is my most uh, that's the series I put a ton of effort into. So please do check it out, and I hope you enjoy your time here. So book 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 book. So, yeah, we just need to do deep get you up there. Radiator block. And then more sheet metal like that. And then uh, da, 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 da. it should be the light on this side, right? Right. Let's just get that out of the way. Then these three heavy over right here. Heavy over here, redstone over here. It's kind of sad that I'm starting to memorize how this thing is laid out. And those two radiators. And then it is the heavy on top over here. There, that should be laid out. 
so it is cool now we just need to lay out the excavator bucket and uh, so how'd you find the channel uh, gravitos I'm always interested in how people found their way here. Were you like looking for a, a Minecraft let's play? Were you, uh, what, what were you doing? Oh, right. I was looking for, um, uh... right. Those cool. And then let's get the underside first. Cause that's always the more troublesome. Just make sure that the area under it is walkable. And let's just finish laying things out under here. That's going to take one... And then up there for the trois. And then we can just kind of fill in the usual pattern. Like so. Make sure that we light this under area here. Make sure that nothing under there is spawnable. And up we go and over. Oops, wrong one. Scavy boy complete. Just give it a boop and then where did my light engineering block go? Did I put it away for whatever reason? I musta. There we go. Scavy boy complete. All right. So from there. Make sure this area is lit. Make sure no monsters can ever visit this site. It is only for us. We are proudly racist against all monsters. Get some dirt to fill in that hole we poked in the Utilidor ceiling accidentally. That'll do. All right. Next up, we need to build the Crusher. So we just take on all the stuff out of the old pocket. And remind me again what the layout for the Crusher's footprint looks like. So we're obviously going to build it like, like here with the output facing that way. So... Going to be facing like this. Cool. Yep, and I think I can more or less build it from there because I've built these things so many times at this point. Oh, maybe remind me how the light engineering blocks go again. Yep, so it needs three over there, one in the center over there. 
cool. And the redstone goes on that side. And up we go. Just lay this out easy and smooth. And remind ourselves that every time we do this, it's one time closer to finally being able to get done with this dang chapter. This chapter that has vexed us for so long. All right, so... From here, and yeah, let's let's complete our logistics as we go. So, gonna need to have two chests, one on here, and one on Shmiar. Chest numero un is just going to come right on out. And we're just going to run that right up into here. Come on, get on there. And just a pipe plug over on here. This one don't need any complicated logic. We don't ever want to be cording up any of this ore, so just extract constantly. But over on here, we're gonna need some structural pipe. I might need to make some more. Not quite yet, but close. And then just any old gate on this one. I said this one. Run pipe wire off of it, and you are going to say when it contains less than 75% emit blue signal. Run that on down. Cross it over, and then we just need to put gate on there. Any old gate will do. And you say on blue signal off, emit redstone. As well, I forgot the fact that this is going to need a little bit of redstone dust. Because the crucer don't like taking orders from gates for whatever reason. But thankfully, we're real, we are real close to the base, so real easy to pick that up real quick. And then we just, it's a hop, skip, and a jump back on over. Redstone deuced on there. Gate on there. Finish running the blue wire over. And you say on blue signal off, emit redstone. All right. And that is the excavator and crusher already done in terms of their logistics programming. Now I just need to run power to them. So... Where is... I gonna do that? Hmm... We kind of have Utilidor down this entire line, right? Right. So maybe I can just, uh... Right here. Do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I place a good old-fashioned 
right here. And then run HV wire off of this relay. That connects nice and easy. And then just up on over here. We should be able to see where that is. Yep, yep, yep. Give that a boop. That makes us a pass through. And then I can just kind of uh, create a bit of a relay chain up and over. This will be a little bit awkward looking, but oh well. Ah, oh, no, I, I don't want it right there. Well, it doesn't particularly matter. I'll just snake the wire, the, the pipe around it. It don't matter. Don't matter if this area is too ugly. We ain't ever really going to be coming back here again. So, up and over there, I think. Yeah. Gonna do this, 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 this. And then I can kind of just... Over here, right? And then right on down into here. Cool. And that's just going to take a little moment to dig out its corridor and then pressurize the system. It should be digging up Cassetta, right? Eventually. Why has it got so much sand to go through? Sand and dirt and oof. It's digging out a huge hole. But is that the first ore? No, it ain't. What are you doing down there? You are digging out yourself a nice big... I rarely see excavators go that far. Huh. But here we go. Okay, so that's Cassiterite coming in. We can start throwing out all this dross. Really, you're still making peat. Well, it stopped. I think I can turn this peat into ash, can't I? Yeah, I can. Huh. Might hold on to that to do that. Alright, so now we need to lay out the smaltery. And we also need to make sure that this chunk is loaded. It is. Cool. This whole area is loaded. It doesn't particularly matter if I if I overlap a couple of chunks. All right, my big boxo stuff. All right, we're going to need a pollution filter. I forgot the pollution filter. All right, so we needed to take a minor trip back to the base, but it's no huge deal. So do I have any iron bars already built? I do. So this is a real fast trip. Except for the fact that I'm out of diamond block. Well, uh, been a while since we visited the abyss, hasn't it? Been a while. Seems like a good time. Catch up, see how everyone's doing over there. Say hello. It's only polite. So let's take out the good old fashioned expedition suit. And let's head on back. Ah. The peaceful land of no lag. Buttery smooth frames. How I missed it. I probably should start spreading out the base further. But I really can't afford that right now because I don't have good chunk loaders yet. I only have the... Uh, the Forge Chunk Loader. So that has to wait till next age when I can get World Spikes at least. 
All right, where's a good, nice, solid bear? Yeah, pick up some more than that. Just find us, find us a nice little collection of diamond blocks. Let's just put them away. It don't particularly matter if we get lost. We're just going to teleport out. Hello, Fox. I forgot once again that I needed a pollution filter. So I'm in the abyss getting some diamond blocks for that. Just restocking. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, those smokers, man. Those smokers are outright there just to troll you. Austin's even said it to me. He put that in there just to troll everyone. Ah, well. Mm, glad that you've been listening in this whole time. Listening to me ramble to myself aimlessly. All right, that's probably about a stack-ish. Eh, close enough. Did I remember to reset my home base again? I don't know if I did. Looks like a no. I still have it set to the good old blood bank. Because I was experimenting if teleporting here, if I could spot what was going wrong. Yes, yes. Always wonderful to see a new face. Even if you've just been a lurker before. Thank you for saying hello, Gravitos. I, I think Gravitos, oh, right. Oh, right. Electricity is a problem, isn't it? <laughs> Good thing that the encounter suit is uh, tanky enough that we can actually take a hit. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that would be more helpful if the stream lag didn't invalidate that one, Fox. <laughs> But thank you, I appreciate the thought. Now yeah, we need to kind of, uh, we need to kind of light up our, uh, light up the area a little bit. How's this doing? It's building. Yep. I unfortunately chose the most inconvenient spot possible for this power nipple, but so it goes. Anyway, filter. Need the filter. Just need nine blocks of wool for that. Need my blocks of diamond. Just put those away. Get four of them. And need the thankfully already built bar. And then we just make filter. Just like so. Indeed. There's no wrong spot for a power nipple. Put it everywhere. But yeah. I think that we can afford the nine wool to make filters every once in a while, you know? No, I, I'm, I'm just checking that to make sure that we're still wool positive on our pollution. Which we will... I, I should effectively assume that yes, the answer to that is yes. We are producing wool so quickly that um, pollution... That the wool being consumed by pollution filters is effectively zero in comparison. I should presume that I have wool as my default assumption. All right, so I forgot to chisel those. It doesn't particularly matter, but we might as well be pretty. 
get our seared stone out. And let's just keep one stack on us. Put the rest away for the moment. Get the rest of the goodies out. Oh? What's that, Fox? Are you thinking of like a, a Fern Gully or, or whatever it was called? I think it was called Fern Gully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Tim Curry and his toxic love. All right, so if I put the controller right... Oh, no, wait, that's a tank. If I put the controller right here, tank next to it, that should be relatively convenient for the sake of control. Then just kind of lay out. Ah, lovely. The Utilidor is right here. And I think I just knocked a thing off, didn't I? Yeah, I think I knocked a relay off. Well, we need to fix that. All right. So I think I can just... Uh, There we go. <laughs> well, I mean, if you feel that, uh, if you feel the inspiration from my, uh, from my blind fumbling around, then who am I to deny it? I'm not one to deny your muse, man. All right, I guess that's just going to have to do because the Utilidor is unfortunately cock blocking us right now. All right, so I guess I'll put the tank over here. Yeah, I think that'll be a good place for it. And then we just need to fill in. Oops. And honestly, I don't think I have all that much pollution in my sky, really. It's very spread out because it's been up there forever. But um, other than that one time when I forgot the filter over on the copper production, I've never really had it densely, densely populating any one chunk. I've been pretty good about uh, about handling my pollution early, handling it aggressively most of the time. Most of the time. All right. And then we can just kind of put a drain over here. Finish off this layer. Exactly enough brick. What do you know? Love it when that happens. Alrighty then. And it's even just the right height to have the interior lit. Wonderbar. All right. So now we need to work on the logic for this. And we do need to remember that I need to pick up more blue wire. But we do need to remember that uh, this does need two separate colors of wire to separate the conditions of the... Uh, of the logic controlling the liquid limiter and the solid limiter. So I might need to carry this black wire along with me. Might as well restock our gates out of the stuff we just made. Blue wire. How am I doing on white wire? I'm doing okay on white wire. Uh, 
Okay, now. So, extractor pipe. Then just transport pipe on down to our input. Single little bit of structural pipe. Am I out of structural pipe? I think I might be, no wait, I have, I have my last piece of structural pipe. <laughs> well, and yeah, I think in my testing, I've determined that yes, it does in fact need to be facing inward in order to function for whatever reason. So we'll have that one on white. Any old gate will do. Like that. Come on in and down. And you are going to say when there is less than 50% in the tank, emit white signal. Oops. And then we just need another gate right here. Gonna need blue wire. And if I put a gate like right here, we're controlling this. This is an AND gate, right? Yeah, it needs to be an AND gate. Then even though even though it should be crossing over from this, the fact that it, there's a gate there should block it. So these will be on two separate channels. So I didn't need those I didn't need those black wires after all. But you should say it contains less than 50% blue pipe signal, and you will say, oops, you will say on blue, on blue and on white, pulse the pipe. And that looks like all the controls are properly separated. I didn't need my third color of wire after all. And I don't need to worry about pollution yet because there's no lava in the tank. So, put filter up like right here. Yeah, no, it can't be right there. Well, it can be, yeah, it can be because then this'll be the Ah, that's... Oh, no, wait, that's not a problem at all. That That is the wool line. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's the exact perfect spot. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. That's almost like I planned it. Almost. All right, let's... Uh, let's get in under here and let's make a split off. So, chest on this end, two extractors. Bullseye, <laughs> good one. Okay, so you are gonna be an extractor with white. Also gonna need two pulsers. You are going to say On white signal, pulse the pipe, like so. You need a gate down here, saying that when container on east side has less than 50%, that is east, right? Right. Then create white signal, that'll summon more wool. Then up on the top side, we just need to create a line right off of this. I'm still pleased as punch that this was the exact perfect place. Oh my God. And then up here, you're gonna when it's less than 50% full, create white signal. 
Wire on down. Gate. Pulsar. Wind white signal, pulse pipe. And there is wool automatically inserted into this brand new filter. Now I just need chimneys over car. And then I just need to extract it, get a pipe plug ready. And then off into the void it goes with another pipe pulser, of course. Right there. And I think that, uh, well, I could have just put the pulser there, but it doesn't matter. All right, so that's pollution handled, hopefully. Let's give that a test, make sure that it is uh, filtering properly. If I can just go and grab a bouquet of lava. And right over here. And yep, there it goes. I see smoke particles coming right out of there. Cool. And this will also be more than enough lava to test if our signal conditions are all set up properly. But they should be, so in a show of hubris, I will start putting my stuff away. Now that is hubris because I still have more logistics to run, of course. Yeah, we might as well keep those dirt blocks just in case we need them as a building block. Yeah, let's let that fill up. <sighs> Eat and drink and be merry. Wonderful, delicious, life-giving tripe. And... We should see that this thing is just pretty much full of tin already. Hmm. Yeah, it's it, tin melts so fast that it can't even fill it up to 50% with the solids. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? And yeah, that looks like it turned the white signal off, so it should stop summoning. And yep, control system works like a charm. Built enough of them by now, they should. All right. Next, we're gonna need, I'm gonna need a liquid extractor pipe. This is the joy of building close to the base though. All the little things that we inevitably forget are no big deal. Shapeless recipes in big tables are kind of silly sometimes. Just have two things at random spots in a huge grid and they happen to go together. Okay, so from there, just gonna need these. And this should be the last of the stuff I need out of this box, right? We kind of cut ourselves off from the shulker box a little bit. Built it into a corner. Alright, so doop. In the end, doop, doop, doop. All the way out and over. Then, like so. Uh, I swear, the wooden hopper is my spirit animal in this pack. It's cheap, it's useful for a million tiny little things. You need a million of them. They're wonderful, wonderful things. I think that they are my, my totem. They are my, uh, my indicator of uh, 
how my philosophy works. The wooden hopper. Cheap and plentiful. <laughs> All praise the wooden hopper. All praise. Okay, I can already tell I'm probably going to need a wrench on this one. So... Probably going to just have a few things spit out at me. It's okay. Get in there. Ah, no, it already works. Cool. So then I can just kind of run the pipe under there. Up and over. Cool. Ah, the big long Utilidor logistics line is just beautiful to watch, isn't it? Tipnotic to watch all the million things running every which way. Could have sworn I had a more easy access somewhere, but I can't remember where. Alrighty then, so... Next, just gonna need a gate, a pulser, and we might as well hook up the redstone wire controls. So, dip, 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 dip. You are going to say, when no redstone signal, pulse the pipe. And I think I'm just going to run it kind of similar to how we did for the gold line. Just kind of... Uh, just kind of run it right up through the ground like this. Then I don't really have a good split off point anywhere nearby, do I? Hmm. Well, we'll just kind of make one. So dupe to dupe to dupe to sloop. Here's where the easier access is. To boop. To gloop. Now I just need to... Oops. Now I just need to... Go up over on here. Up to where the... Uh, ah, yes. We should also be seeing tin appearing in our system by now, right? If I... Oh, right, I need ingot casts. I need ingot casts. I also need to actually extract the liquid out and actually get it to all the tables. Right, 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 right. Mm -mm. A derp and a herp. Liquid in all tables. Really, I, sh I really should build these to four instead of six. Especially for something like tin that casts so quickly. Oh well. Let's just... Ignore rationality and stick with tradition. Alright. Shoot, I forgot to turn the pulser off. Well, that's a couple of blank casts. Bit of aluminum brass wasted. Oh well. How are we doing in here? I probably need four, because I think I saved two of it. Just one of it? Hmm. Uh, 
Oh well. That's just a reminder to always remember to shut a machine off when it's not working. And that's why I make auto shutoffs for things, but unfortunately there's no real convenient way to do that for this particular case. I mean, I guess that... How would I even do that? Huh. Well, maybe... Um... Let's see, can Gates read casting tables as a tank? Hmm. If I made a timer that said, like, if this casting table has been empty for five seconds, then shut off the pulser. That would be ridiculously complex and probably more advanced than I know how to build. But that might be the mechanism to do it, if Gates can read casting tables. If. Hmm. Why am I even considering that problem? It's not a problem I need to solve. I just need to remember to hit the damn switch. Because I know I can't trust myself to hit the damn switch. I'm 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 forgetful. Mm, it's terrible. All right, and that is tin a coming out. All right, so what color are we using for tin? It's whatever comes after lime. So, da, 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 da. Need hammer. Yes, pull the damn lever. Pull the damn lever. Let's get this on by default. Also gonna need a little bit of, uh, well, not right now. First of all, pink. Tin shall be on pink channel, huzzah. All right, so now over on the other end, If I get that properly colored and programmed. So get it colored pink, turn it into an output and that immediately shuts off. Cool. Redstone control is working. All right. And I believe that that is tin completely completed all righty then well that as always took longer than I thought it would but we got a bit more than just tin done today we finally got the excavator back on redstone we got the mechanical artisan a little bit more complete, and now we have all the ingredients to fully complete it. Yep. With tin in stock, it is now possible to automate bronze. Get that casting out. And with that, since we now have steel coming over here and stocking up, we can create a uh, we can create an automation for oh no wait, not all, not all, no. We don't have silver to make electrum yet, but almost all, almost all. Yes. When I, uh, I, I can now make a auto smelter to alloy up bronze to make 
gears, blocks, and ingots of bronze, and that will get us very close to complete. If I just make steel mechanical components, then literally the only thing left after that would be making some electrum. So for that, we're going to need to mine up Galena, and that's not a huge deal. So we're getting there. We are getting there. We have almost all the resources. Because, uh, yeah, I think that once I have the immersive engineering blocks fully automated, then all I'm really going to want otherwise is Kimberlite as just the last resource coming in. And then I can start automating my way into the next chapter. So we are getting there. Let's see, our checklist is now. We've got Cassiterite. So now we need Galena. And we need Galena, we need Kimberlite. And I think that's it. I think that's it, Galena and Kimberlite. So two more resources to go. And Kimberlite's a real easy one. It doesn't need a smeltery. Although that's made up by the fact that Galena is going to need two smelteries. Which, ain't that just how life goes? All right. Yeah, I think that I can uh, make some bonus ash out of this peat that I picked up randomly. If I like... Is that the recipe? Does it need a special recipe? In the corner. Cool. And then I can just give it two little boops of water, right? Yeah, it does it like that. Cool. Unfortunately, I can't get all of it because then... Oh, uh, your web, you're, you're getting, you're upgrading your web. That's, that's, that's wonderful news. That is wonderful news, Fox, more bandwidth for you. All right. Well, as you can tell from the fact that I'm cleaning up, I think it is time for me to call it a night. This has been a wonderful little expedition. We have got a little bit of progress, as we always do these days, now that we have the the kind of drudge work mostly done for us. So, between episodes, I'll do my usual maintenance. Um, I'm going to be building the under platform out a little bit bigger. Because, yeah, we have, we have platform space up here, but down here, I need to expand this out. So, between episodes... I'll be building this under platform out a little bit more. I might um, I might just replace the damn red line with, Hello, Blood Devon, you've unfortunately caught us wrapping up. I, I might just replace the immersive engineering pipe on the bloodline with Buildcraft pipe, because the immersive engineering pipe doesn't seem to be working. And other than that, it is... It, it, it'll just be, yeah... Well, yep, yeah, thank you for showing up, Fox. Hey, Devin, sorry that you kind of showed up at the very end here. You didn't miss much. It was another resource stream. We've got an excavator back on Redstone now, and we have tin coming in. Next episode, we'll be finishing off the automation of the mechanical artisan, I think. No, wait, I would need Galena for that. So next episode, uh, we'll be furthering the automation of the mechanical artisan with some automated bronze... And if we have time and if we're feeling like it, we'll get Galena coming in. Until then, everyone, Fox, Devin, thank you for coming by. Thank you for keeping me company. And have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening. I'll see you on the next one.